Hello there, and welcome back to some more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. In the last episode, what we did was we finished Spyro 1. Now we're back on the main menu to start Spyro 2. Let's do it. In the world of dragons. Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork. Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Well, this time it's because you wanted to go on vacation. Or holiday, as we call it in this country, and then you you wanted to do that, and then you got yourself absorbed into a portal of justice and truth. So here's the uh, world map for this game, and all the skill points we could get in this game. And also an art gallery. Oh. 400 gems. That's the part I'm interested in. Hello. Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah. Alright, so... Already you can see it's slightly different. We're in a different world. Hence, no dragons. Also, the gems of purple are now worth five. Yeah, they change the colours from game to game. A bit. Some of them say the same. Also, we get orbs for killing monsters now. So green should still be worth two, yeah, red's still worth one. But purple are now worth five, not blue. So it's all good. But oh, these guys could be charged to death too. Okay. Now let's see what we've missed. There's a path down there. I haven't seen any level gates yet, which is interesting. See ya. 
Now, I don't know whether I have to kill all the enemies to get their orbs for a reason, whether it's just a, a thing you can do. But imagine it's for a reason. Also, don't you get moves in this game? So there might be stuff I can't actually do yet. Like some gems I physically can't get until later on. Okay, well, I'm pretty satisfied about this. If I press the sparks button, he says, it's down here now. Hi, Spyro. Hello. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Thanks, Zoe. Bye. That combination of letters is odd, because it could be Zoe, it could be Zoe, it could be, uh, anything. It could be Zoe. Usually, oh god. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. That's fine. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. Of course. I mean, Moneybags, he's a respectable businessman. What's the cost of doing business? Sometimes, if you want to play the game, you have to play by his rules. He is here first. Now, some people might claim this is highway robbery, but I don't. I think it's just a respectable business. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Yeah, so if I try, I just grind my face against the wall and nothing happens. I'm still going to try and figure out what the point of uh, killing all the enemies is. Bye. I've got ten now. It's just a giant gem. Thank you, many bags. See you later. We'll be seeing a lot more of you. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. So they can't just say triangle anymore. Maybe they also said action button on the PlayStation version, although I don't know why they would. That looks like it's climbable. Let me try. I'll just try one more one time to climb up here. I don't know how this is going to help me. Basically, I want to try and get up there. Probably have to climb from that ladder anyway. It's fine. All right, moving on. So, it's it's less straightforward than Spyro 1. So, it's unlikely that I'll be able to just get everything. Oops, sorry. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please, take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Does the name appear or does it I just have to find out? Oh maybe that's world two. It's a home world, isn't it? So maybe maybe that's world two. I'm not looking for world two, I'm looking for level balls. Yellows are still worth ten. Lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. I don't have any questions. Hit the little lizards with rocks. Talk to Bonza for additional hints. Okay. Bye. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Sparks, I mean, his, his name is Sparks, isn't it? Could you, uh, could you get that gem for me? What do you mean, no? Come on. 
That's too high. Damn it. Okay, fine. Oh, he's gone over that way. No, I'm going. I don't want to get sidetracked too bad, but I, I need to follow him, otherwise I'll lose him and forget where he is. Hello. You alright, mate? You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Thank you. Bosh. Got him. I can hear them laughing at me. Yeah, you know mate. That lizard up Just high, use the first aim. person. Yeah. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. Okay. My my look button is the right stick in. Although you can also press Y. I prefer right stick in. It makes more sense to me. Just feels like a more natural position since R is already the camera. Or right stick even. Thanks, Zoe. Hello. You can pick up a rock in your mouth by just walking up to it. Yeah. To spit it out, press the attack button. Okay. Oh, that lizard. To aim a rock. Yeah, I don't want to do. Yeah, basically, I just want to do it so I don't look at him. There you go. Bye. <laughs> I was talking to him by pressing the right stick inwards. Take my rock, please. There's a lot of these little side objectives in um, Spyro 2 as well. They, they count towards the percentage, so you might as well do them. Moving, are we? That's what you get. Don't move from me. Coward. Oh, I've got it. Damn you, rat kangaroo. You can jump far higher than me. What even are they, anyway? Bosh. You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Oh. So these are like the collectibles of the game that you want to get. It, think of like Crash Bandicoot and you had the crystals in Crash Bandicoot. This is like that. Now I want to go and see if I can shoot the gem of the rock and get it. It would be kind of odd if that worked, but I want to try it. Wait, what's this? Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Oh, that's all I need. Walk through the pyramids to trigger the Superfly power-up. Light the gem lamps with your flame. Light all the lamps quickly. Okay, so, so I just gotta fly over here real quick. It's inverted controls, which is actually good for me, but I've got to remember that that's what they are. Okay, that's the way the game wants me to go. All right, so check around the ground floor for a little bit more, just to make sure there's nothing here I've missed. What does uh, Sparks seem to think? Okay, he thinks it's that, so I've got to go. Around here. There. Yes! Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Thanks, brother. Also, we're definitely not going to finish a world per hour. This game's bigger than number one, which you'd expect for a sequel. And I don't know it as well as number one, because I played number one, uh, recorded it. The only time I ever played two was uh, I streamed it one time, 
And I did finish it 100%, but that was the old version, and I don't remember it that well. So these were people who gave me orbs, I'm guessing. Is there anything in central building I need to be aware of? Stand up here. Don't know why I'd want to. Anyway. Spark seems to think there's something over here. Well, there's this I could probably burn down. No. Nope. They also, you can also just do this to get through here nice and easy. So that's done. You can light these lamps too. So to do that, you'd need the flight from up the ladder. But I think you can do it from here. If you use this flight to get up to the one that the other flight's at. Unless an invisible wall stops me. You don't want to fly it slower. Damn. Okay. It's just about not long enough, it looks like. Maybe if I cut a different angle. Okay. So maybe if I flew in through the window. Okay. I don't know this will work, by the way. I'm just going to try it one more time. slower. Go again. Got to be a good attempt though, obviously. Can't be a shit attempt. There we go. Fight. Poop. Again. All right, that, so I can't go through that window because that's where the portal is. One more time just to see if I can do it. Here we go. Right. This is the one I want. Fucking Rato. Please. I don't even know if it's going to be much faster, but if it's even a little bit faster, I should be able to make it up. Okay, so I've got to do this, then I've got to go right, then I've got to go left. Okay, that's faster, for sure. You son of a bitch. Okay, there may be... I'm thinking not. Alright, so that didn't work. So I guess I have to wait like a plebeian. I'm sure there's a way up there early. There's gotta be. Anywho. Let's go up here. If I use the flight. I can get over there, but I've already been over there. So why can flight get me that I've not been to before? If anyway, maybe this place is just self-contained and that's the end of that. But I'm missing a couple of gems, you see. Oh, it's flown all the way around there. There's nothing there. I am, I am trying this shit again. This is slower. But I knew it would be. Okay. So there's a... There's a flight up there, that's not a path, that's just a flight. Looks like there's something there is something through that wooden door. But it doesn't look like anything I can break. Anyway, let's go through the portal. Entering Summer Forest. We've got to learn moves and stuff anyway, so. We didn't 
get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Whatever you say, Spyro. Whatever you say. Right, so this is the actual first world. So Glimmer, I guess, is a level. Within the first world. Which makes sense. This place is pretty picturesque. Can I swim yet? Yeah, I can swim now. I mean, I can't actually swim yet, but... I don't die in the water. Which is pretty impressive. Considering Spyro 1, you're flapping around like a headless chicken all the time whenever you touch it. Spyro, Hello. this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. So, if there are 14 talismans, does that mean there are 14 worlds? As in 14 levels. There should actually be less than Spyro 1, but I think the game is longer. Somehow. Maybe the levels are bigger. That would make sense. Okay, so, we're looking for gems, of course, as always. In all the home worlds and everything. No. Joey, simple platforming, please. 3D platforming is your element. Rather than 2D platforming, where you have an excuse because you don't play that much of it, even as a child. So, hey, besides, Spyro. like, Donkey Kong Country 2. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Okay. Oh, it's a practice to glide so you don't lose anything. Also, I do have my ability to do a little flippity uppity bit now, which could save me in some harder jumps later on. I got a gem and I don't know where I just got it from. That's a bit spooky. Idle springs, okay. gems. Still don't know why they changed blue for purple. It's a bit of an odd choice. That's an urn, of course. You have to break them with your face. Hi, Spyro. Hello. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay. Yes. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Okay. I did it. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. But not a lot. They made this jump perfectly that you just about can't glide it. You can hover it. Don't forget about Hopper. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, 
Jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Yeah, it does make a difference. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a difference. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Thanks. Why well, are you getting me off this precious resource for, for fun? I don't know. But... If I get an achievement called well, you might as well. Complete Hunter's Challenge. The fact that only 30% of players have got that, tell me that a lot of people just played Spyro 1 and that was it. They didn't bother with 2 and 3. Which is a shame, because I think Spyro 3 is probably the best one. It's the one that I have the most nostalgia for. I will say that um, Spyro 1 is the most consistent in quality. But Spyro 2 is certainly has a lot more interesting ideas. Like that money bag is going to teach me how to swim, I believe. Got to do some jumps to get here. Hello. Sorry. Spyro, I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Learning to swim underwater costs 500 gems. What? Oh, yeah, I've got to, I've got to beat another level first. Okay, well I can do that. Let's go. Sparks, the oh. dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Thank you. Just call it HP like everyone else. I know that's what it stands for, but still, Idle Springs. Look at those nasty gem counters, because it's all random. This is another interesting thing about um, Spyro 2. All the worlds have their own inhabitants, rather than Spyro 1 where it's just dragons all the time. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Well, that's no good, is it? How many gems to find in this area? 400 again. Okay. Still can't swim, so I definitely can't get some of these. The fire will burn them up real quick. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, so we'll try our best to get as many gems as we can, but I'm not going to get all of them because I can't. It's more similar to a Metroidvania. We have to go back and forth a lot. Which is fine. I personally don't like it as much as Spyro 1 where you can get everything the first time round, but... I understand why they did it. It gives you some replay value, you know? Now, I think it's this level that has some dumb shit they have to do to get the final gems, like some crazy stuff. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Thank you. I mean, maybe. What are you do? Stop that. Um. Yeah, maybe people skipped Spyro 1 and played Spyro 2. It's like starting with Crash 2, so a lot of people did start with Crash 2. But then again, compared to Crash 1, Crash 2 is just pretty much better in every way. how it goes. Well, that's, that's where you get your lives from now. You get them from fairies and bottles. Like Zelda. I preferred the random clam chests that existed for no reason in the lore, but were just there.
fight. See you later. Yeah, I guess I've got to follow these these light orbs. To aim the camera left or right, use the right stick. Thank you. I don't know whether Spyro 2 had analog controls already by this point. I'm guessing so. Spyro 1, I think, didn't. Although I might have been late enough in the PlayStation 1's life that it did. I know Crash 1 didn't. That's why I, I think that. Knows. Okay, this is this is something, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll get like a ground pound. I forget exactly what you get in this game. Could you st stop bashing yourselves on the head with the hammer? Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Yay! So you get the talisman, then it builds the way home for you. This looks like it might be a glidable jump. Don't forget about glide, it's really useful. It's more than useful, it's super duper good. That's why I missed it in Spyro 1. What the hell? This is a previously as unseen area. Okay. I've got enough gems to learn to swim. Pretty neat. There's like another half of a level up here. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough to get back to. Just don't time your your uh, glides badly, and then you won't struggle. that. That's a missile. There you go. That's, that's that. So now we just have to go back through the level. There are some people saying that this game has problems where sometimes you slide around like you're on ice even though you're on the ground and you fall through the world. I never experienced that with Spyro 1, but maybe maybe this game has something different going on. It won't bother me too much because these things happen. I always think to myself, could I do a better job? And if the answer is no, which is 9 times out of 10, or maybe even 99 times out of 100, um, then I'll say, fair enough. If I couldn't do better, why would I get annoyed? It's when you when you when you sit down and you think, honestly, I think I could do better. <laughs> That's when I get annoyed. But like I said, that that happens, that happens very very rarely. All right, now let's go to the the second half of the level and check what's going on there. But like I said, I'm always going to try and finish everything I can the first time I enter an area. Damn. Okay. So what happened there was I didn't press the hover button quickly enough. Again, in level one, or maybe this is or technically level two, it doesn't matter too much, but eventually that'll get me killed. you got to be decisive with your button presses. Okay, here we go. Right. So that's supercharge. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. 
Thank you. They're loving it. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. Okay. So, how many gems have we got left to go? 80. We're missing uh, an orb. Okay, so there's nothing I can do with that super flame right now. Where do Sparks think the next gems are? Way the fuck over there. Let me speak to the foreman because he might have a mission for me. No, it doesn't look like it. This is back at the start of the level. Yes, yeah, so the orbs, or well, the the gems, are down there. So if I leave, you learn how to swim and come back, then that will certainly help. And then everything else. Will, it looks like I can do everything else, so we'll find it. The sooner we start super clearing levels, the happier I am. Let's just check. I can't flame these. I wonder what engine this was made in. Unreal? Unity? I don't know. Okay. Let's learn how to swim. really help me. Being able to swim means I can go further in the game, but also I can go backwards and do other things. Okay, so money bags, come here, you shit. Hello there, Spyro. Hi. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? Yes. I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Okay, Wait. sure. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Thanks. I can't, obviously I can't uh, breathe fire. I tried. There's <laughs> no dice. So that's the way out. Then you just do like a dolphin dive out of the ocean to get out again. Something for here for me, but there is in the river over here. Well, first let's check this. It's just a small river. Nothing going on here. But I'm pretty sure there was something in this bit. Here we go. All right. So let's swim. Let's not just dive out of the water like a crazy person. So good luck. Right, okay, down here. I don't think I have air, so... I'm just swim with impunity. ledge to make sure there's no pot on the ledge. I end up in here. Where's here? Good question. I wish I could tell thee. Oh, there's a place with an orb. On a secret ledge. Ooh, ah, on a secret ledge. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. Right, let's go back to Idle Springs. Now we can swim. Let's see if we can get all of the, the gems. You get the same cutscene again. Yeah, it's like time resets. 
All the gems are still gone, but... I like how Spot, uh, Sparks gets an air bubble. Since he literally can't fly. Underwater, so he'd be, he'd be doomed. There's already a lot of the gems I was missing. little cash. Now we've got all the gems in the level. Good. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Okay. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Solve the three giant idle puzzles. To solve the first puzzle, turn all the blocks yellow. Oh, I see. It's one of these things. Okay. This is like one of those puzzles you get when you're a kid. Hey, let me think here. It'll come to me. There we go. That's it. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Okay. So this treasure is what's going to open at the end. Where is he now? This idol says he's okay. hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Flame fish to feed the idol. The idol is very picky. He likes blue and he likes yellow. Guess is that he doesn't like red. Okay, Spyro, Bad sushi. Do not feed the hungry idol any red fish. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay, good. All right. Did you open this door for me? Thank you. Lovely jubbly. There you go. Now you can open that up. Kill them. Get open the door for me again. Lovely. Okay. stones in the correct order you will okay. solve the puzzle i only know what the first one is it's up to you to figure the rest out jump on the stones in the correct order oh wrong okay let's start over i'll right, try again Looks like a square, but there is no one that looks like a square. Shit. Uh, what other information have I been given? Try this one. It's not that one. Okay. Let's. So I get this one. You do that. It has a star in it, so you do a star. Now there's no more stars or no more things. I went for the one that looks like the same shape as this one. 
So, okay. Let's try this one. Okay, so I guess it's the star again. Right. Star, star. Square. Moon. Moon circle. It's more luck than judgment, nice but job, oh well. Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. It's fine. I'm sure it's what I want. Oh. Banana. Ball orbs collected. 100% level complete. Good. That's what I need to find and then I can leave. So that's the level super cleared. Fantastic. Now let's get out of here. Again, I could probably just warp out using exit level, but I like going through the actual gate. Because that feels more proper in some way. So let's go. I guess we'll have a little perusement around uh, Colossus. Yes. We'll have a look, see. Entering Colossus. So she right. Hello. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. All right, no problem. Let's have our mission. Destroy the yeti at the end. I mean, I'm also killing the goats, but they attack me, so that's fair. That penguin did nothing wrong. He didn't deserve that. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Thank you. Be gone. Hockey Championship Masters. 1999. We may have even breached into the 2000s by the time this game came out. But I doubt it. Okay. Right then. Hello, brother. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Thank you. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. I appreciate that. Again, I'm not too bothered about the tutorialization because you could have maybe skipped uh, number one. I don't know why you would. But it is possible. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't actually remember that, so that's good. So that's what that's for. You got it. Hey, look what I can do. Maze a platform. Good job. 
very impressive. Right now. Here. Get out of here. Which I think is what the game wanted me to do. Right. Stop fighting, you two. Sick of it. Okay, so even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that Yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Okay, well, if you don't think I am, then I'm probably not, which means I should get some more power. That's a pot that's too powerful for me. Okay, now it's active. Now that I've... Okay, so it isn't 11 to go. That's what I was thinking it was. It's not 11 to go. It's 11 at all. So what is this? Oh, it's like a super jump. Okay. But it's a forced super jump. When you touch it, you just go into the sky. When you touch it, you go into the sky and there's not a lot you can do about it. There's a window there, but I can't go through it. So there's the ice skating rink. Get out of it, you have to you have to do that. Ah, Spyro. Hello. Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Of course. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Oh, okay. I remember now. Ah, he blocked it. Bastard. And he hit me, but he didn't do any actual damage. Goal! That's one. We've got to do a lot more than that, though. We've got to get five. Goal. Look at that angle. What a what a pro. Eventually I think I have to win a match. He's 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 freaking out, he can't believe it. If I could get the puck on the rebound, that'd be even better, but I can't. Yes. There we go. That's what I wanted. Go. Have this. Thank you. Would you like to try a game of one on one? I would. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. Okay. Just use fire and cheat. Don't shoot at blue. But he's going to come after me now, of course.
Damn, he blocked it. But my guy also blocked it. Goal! Ha 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 ha! You fool! There's no way. That was a that was an that was an aggressive shot. Cross court slammer jammer. Is it a hockey court? Ice field? I don't know. Yes. Goal. You cannot defeat me. I am unbeatable. Look at this. This is a ma this is a massacre. The New Brunswick fuckwits well, win again. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Thank you. So I'm not against. Uh, I'm not against New Brunswick or anything. Don't worry. I just had to pick a team name, and that's what I came up with. Okay. Um. Right. So slide it around. Make sure you get out of it, otherwise you'll be very sad. Okay, that's the way out again. Now let me try and kill the Yeti. Hello. Very spooky. Oh. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Yay. I got the Okay, so I'm missing an orb. But I can get it if I just jump through this, I guess. A wee. It looks like a lot of shit over here. He's, that guy is being possessed. Okay, how many orbs are we missing? 55. Okay. Now 35. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Flame ten green statues. You got it. Will do. Ding, da, ding, da, da, da. I'll be back. Yeah, I can't break this. It doesn't look like. Not unless I develop some sort of super flame technology. Or supercharge. Okay, that's three. Four. Six. There's nothing more over here, is there? I'll check. But... Doesn't look like it. Wait. No, okay. I was wondering if they were going to do the old uh, hide something behind the start trick. They didn't. Yeah, that's odd. 
It looks like the um, the balloonist from uh, the first game's balloon. Looking over here, I don't think. Shit. Once you get on the ice, you have to walk off of it to, to cancel the ice. Otherwise, you just slip and slide around forever. And now the problem becomes... Where the hell are the rest of the statues? They must be... The one's here. One must be in this bit. It's the only thing that makes sense in this crazy, crazy world. There it is. Well done, Spyro. Thank you. You've scared the evil spirit away. Yes. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. You borrowed an ancient artifact of the religious folk. I'm sure that's never backfired before in human history. Oh. This little, uh, this little doofer. Ah, and a missile like this. Maybe I can get it all. Beautiful. 100% level complete. Good. And let's return home. Okay, right. That man has been killed. Rest in piss. Right. I'll see you guys next time when we go swimming underneath here and go to the next area. See you then. Goodbye.